Hi fam! I think now more than ever, we're all being forced to actually cook at home and eat at home. And I think it's a good thing. So I thought I would share all of the things that I bought. We went to Trader Joe's yesterday and also the week before. So this is accumulation of two trips to the grocery store. So it's a lot of food. Also, I specifically love watching Trader Joe's hauls because they carry some fun little items that you can only get at Trader Joe's. But a lot of these things you could find at your normal grocery store but also not really, I'm sorry. So I thought I'd start off with more breakfasty items, but before then, actually, I wanted to share lemons. Right now, vitamin C is really important to take just to boost your immunity as a supplement, but more so from the natural source itself. So I actually found this, which are some pink lemons. I mean, you could definitely just buy a bag of lemons, but studies say buying fun foods increases those happy cells. When Joe gives you lemons, make pink lemonade. So it does have a pale pink flesh. And I guess you could use it for dessert, salads, garnishes, whatever you want. But I plan on just squeezing some into lukewarm water and drinking it in the morning before eating. And for more natural sources of vitamin C, I also got these mandarins. These are just such an easy snack to eat. And I also really want to try these blood oranges. They have this really dark maroon color on the inside and it says it's a savory berry flavor, which is kind of true. Blood oranges do taste a little bit like berries. Of course, I had to get some berries. Berries are always just good to have around. Before they start going bad, I could always freeze them for smoothies. They're so easy to plop on oats, smoothie bowls, like Greek yogurt. So I like to have the full variety. I like getting blackberries. Josh loves blackberries and I love raspberries and blueberries. I always like getting the full trio and if, in case you're wondering, I did not get strawberries this time, but I actually did buy some of this coconut whipped cream and I heard this tastes really bomb on top of some strawberries and I'm sure it's the same with like regular berries. I don't know, I feel like it'll taste better on strawberries. <laughs> Ooh, and you could put it on top of your coffees and such. Bananas, this is another staple that I always just like to get on trips to the grocery store because even if I don't eat it, I could always freeze it. And actually, for the most part, I never eat bananas on itself. Um, if you guys know my traumatic banana story, you'll know why. But most of the time, I end up just freezing bananas and then adding it into smoothies to give it a more icy, cold, thick feel. Speaking of frozen fruit, I also got some organic mango chunks. This wasn't from Trader Joe's actually, we just had it for a while. And then this is frozen organic mixed berry blend. These last a long time and I always like to keep them in the freezer for whenever I wanna make smoothies. Love adding frozen fruit because again, they add that icy cold texture and temperature. These are always a must have to keep with me in the fridge. Another thing I always like to have are some frozen waffles. This is from Target actually and these are the protein packed power waffles. I like the dark chocolate one, but I also have the blueberry one. They taste like they're protein packed. But the thing is, because it's so dry, I actually top it with some creamy almond butter and a little bit of honey. And that's how I like to eat it if I'm having like sort of a sweet, chocolatey, cakey craving. This really satisfies that. Protein waffles are one thing I like to have for breakfast. Another thing I like to have are smoothies or smoothie bowls like I mentioned, or I like to have some Greek yogurt. So this is Greek yogurt with honey. So already it's a little bit sweetened, which which I like and just add some berries on top or some granola, but we don't have granola. I could technically make granola with all the ingredients I have at home. So maybe I'll do that. I could also use this in smoothies to add a little bit more of a tart flavor. I love this Sunrise Crunchy Honey cereal. I can't remember if it was the crunchy honey or the crunchy maple, but I really like the Sunrise cereal from Nature's Path. Is it the healthiest? I don't really know, but honestly, I never think cereal is that healthy. This has a medley of corn, quinoa, flax, buckwheat, and amaranth, so just a ton of stuff. This is just a very quick breakfast to have, or even as like dessert or something. And for the cereal, I also got some oat milk. I don't know when oat milk became such a craze recently, but I do like the taste of oat milk. I, I'll. I'll give it that. It is a little bit thicker, so I like to have it with cereal. 
Um, otherwise, if I'm making overnight oats or something, then I will actually just use something lighter like almond milk. This is the unsweetened vanilla flavor. This is another staple to have in the fridge. And like I said, one of the other things I like to make is oatmeal. So I want to make more overnight oats and possibly some chia pudding because we have a ton of chia seeds. And we also got some organic unsweetened coconut flakes. Again, really, really easy to sprinkle on top of lots of different things. And I feel like coconut shreds just make everything look pretty um, it can look messy but it just kind of brings everything together so another thing we've been loving to eat for breakfast is avocado toast for the bread I personally really like sourdough bread I don't know if this specific one's my favorite but um, we've been eating this one and we also got this one this is the French brioche bread so this is more buttery and soft it could work well for sweet toast as well I don't know I'm still trying to figure out what my favorite bread is for different things but of course we got a bag of some avocados and just waiting for this one to ripen Trader Joe's has a limit of buying two egg cartons so we got some dark yolk eggs regular yolk eggs <laughs> um, I feel like eggs are always essential to have for us sometimes I like eggs on my avocado toast as well and this has been hyped up so much so I finally caved in and got it it's the everything but the bagel seasoning I'm planning on sprinkling this on top of avocado toast too. I think we should have gotten more avocados now that I think about it. Those avocados will only last us like two days. As for like lunch or whatever really, um, we got so many vegetables, it's not even funny. So first of all, greens. We can never have enough leafy greens, I think, because it could all disappear in like a couple of salads. First of all, romaines are a must for salads for me. They're so easy to just chop up. They add a lot of volume to a salad and a lot of crunch. They're low-key one of my favorite greens for salads, at least. I never really cooked romaine. I don't think you could do that. Love this Tuscan kale. Specifically, love tossing them in smoothies or just sauteing it up a little bit with olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic, like so good as like a little side to some protein. Got some organic arugula. We got a lot here. Organic baby spinach. Whenever we're cooking anything, we just like take a big handful and put it into the dish and it just all shrinks up anyway. So it's like getting a lot of vegetables in without really trying. And I also wanted to try some butter lettuce. This honestly I could eat up in one meal, but I don't know, this seemed like a good idea. So butter lettuce and lastly got some organic microgreens. This seemed like a really easy thing to sprinkle on any salad. So I don't know why the ingredients of this says the like a bunch of different vegetables. I think these are the little sprouts of a variety of vegetables. That is so cool. We also got, of course, the the trio, the holy trio. Carrots, celery, and we also have some onion. I feel like you always just need onion. Also, especially for Asian cooking, you can never have enough green onion. So also got some green onion. And the great thing about this too is if these are starting to go bad and I haven't used them, I could always just toss these into smoothies and it tastes really good with some frozen berries or apples. These are also more kind of like garnishing things. Cilantro, ah oh, man, I always forget that we have cilantro, which is the problem, and that's why they always go bad, but I'm gonna remember now that we have cilantro, and I also got this organic rainbow radish, so, I mean, it's not exactly the colors of the rainbow, but radish of many colors. I love eating this radish with tacos, not that we got any ingredients to make tacos, but I'm thinking of just adding this into my salad for a little bit of a radishy kick. We also got some mini white mushrooms and some mini pearl grape tomatoes. I love adding this to salads or like an omelet or something. These two are also great as like little side vegetables to protein. That's what I like to call them. Asparagus um, and some organic baby broccoli. I feel like these would just taste amazing roasted. I'm really excited about this baby broccoli because I love broccoli, but this just looks like the next step. And lastly, I got some shishito peppers. I've never tried these. I want to just try some new things. It says it has a grassy pepper flavor with sweet, hot citrus notes. Saute with a little bit of olive oil or sesame oil and sprinkle some salt and it's ready to eat. 
I love anything with a little bit of spice, so excited to try this. Maybe it's like a snack even. I don't know how it's gonna taste. This video is just getting all over the place, but we also needed some chicken broth, so got this for soups. I was looking for bouillon, but they didn't carry any bouillon. And got some shredded mozzarella cheese. Really convenient to have for pasta or soups or anything really. I also got this toasted sesame dressing. I wonder if I could have just gotten some tahini and made like my own little dressing. Probably should have done that, but I do like this one too. I also got this fire roasted diced green chilies. I have no idea what this tastes like either. Again, just trying some new things. Pasta. Trader Joe's does have a limit to two pastas max. Got this the first time I went. It's the Gigli, Gigli. I don't know how you say that. I was honestly getting sick of pasta, so I at least wanted to try out different random funky types of pasta shapes. So got this to play around with. We also got this spinach and chive linguine pasta. We needed a switch from like regular spaghetti. We got this um, pecorino romano, uh, oh. It's raw sheep's milk cheese. Um, this is honestly so good. We love just grating this on top of Pasta, salads, avocado toast, everything. As for meat, I watched this video on the best quality meats to get at Cherry Joe's from this like fitness dude. But basically he really recommended this Alaskan sockeye salmon. He said that the skin has so many good health properties, lots of vitamin D, blah, 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 blah. It's a really lean meat, but we also got the fresh Atlantic salmon. This one is a lot fattier, so it's not as healthy, but it does taste better. So we got two different options of those. I got some fresh lean ground chicken. Don't even know what I'm gonna make with this, but I thought this would be good scrambled up with some veggies or something. And it's raised with no antibiotics, all vegetarian diet, no added hormones. This is an obsession of my husband's. This is sliced prosciutto and this is just so good. It's just ready to eat, which is the most convenient part. Lasts for months. So this is always good to have on hand. And also have some bacon in here. I don't really like to eat bacon, but my husband got this. As for some frozen things, guys, I'm trying to talk as fast as I can because there's just so much food out right now. Oh my goodness. I also heard that the silver coho salmon is really good. We've been obsessed with salmon. I love just having salmon with some rice and kale or something. Very simple, basic meal, but I love it. My husband cooks some dank salmon. And oh, got some organic rainbow cauliflower. I just thought, how fun is this? Adding some color variety into my like eat the rainbow kids and cauliflower cooked the right way is one of my favorite vegetables actually and i also wanted to try out these just grilled chicken strips so you just heat it up and i wanted to have this on hand for plopping onto salads how many times have i said salads in this video more stuff this is one of my favorite things to get trey joe's i know it's kind of like lazy food but it's so convenient to have on hand sometimes when rice isn't ready. Hopefully I could graduate from this one day, but I love the Trader Joe's organic jasmine rice. You literally just plop a bag into the microwave for three minutes and then your rice is ready and it's perfectly portioned. Josh and I just split some rice in half and then again, we eat it with like salmon and some veggies. We've got two of these. We also wanted to try some BBQ chicken pizza. This is one of my favorite types of pizza actually, so. This looks really yummy. And I know that there are days when we just really don't feel like cooking and we just want a quick meal. Boom. Oh my goodness, we tried this last week and I, I loved it. It's so unique and I can't even, I don't even know how to explain it. It's the kunifi. Don't know how to pronounce that, but look at that. What is that? What? Is that? Okay, it's like this sweet and buttery dessert with some ooey gooey cheese topped with some crushed pistachio. I personally don't like the pistachio, so I prefer to eat it without it, but it's like this doughy crispiness filled with like gooey cheese. It's so, so interesting. It, you got like the saltiness from the cheese and the sweetness from the little glaze. It's so good. Try this. I really want to get a baking mix thing because baking's been a very therapeutic thing for a lot of people lately. So I got this mixed berry scone mix. I plan on making some scones and then delivering it to some people. I don't know, so this is just add water so it shouldn't be too difficult, right? And I love scones, so I want to try that. And I also got some well-rested herbal tea. We already have so many teas, but I got this for a part of the 
care package thing that I'm doing. And along with that, we just got so many snacks for our friends. None of this is for myself. Like I never bought this many snacks from Trader Joe's. It's kind of insane. I thought I'd show you anyway because I would personally want to try all of these. We got some fruit and yogurt mango gummies and these are so good. They're one of my favorite candies actually. So if you go to Trader Joe's, you have to try this. Along with this soft and juicy dried fruit mango. This one does have added sugar in it. They do have one without the added sugar, but I thought you know. Also got some jerky. So got some beef jerky and some watermelon jerky, which I honestly think is very paradoxical. Like when I think of watermelon, I think of super juicy, watery. This is like the opposite. It's like watermelon with all the water sucked out of it. So I think this will taste horrible, but I want to try it anyway. Got so many chips. Um, I really like the Trader Joe's spicy cheese crunchies because one of my favorite junk food chips are hot cheetos and this kind of basically tastes like that it does taste a little bit more limey and less uh fried if that makes sense so it is a slightly healthier version but it still satisfies my hot cheeto cravings without me overeating it this is a crispy and crunchy mochi rice nuggets and i just like the packaging of this cute little mochi guys we got some organic carrots these are dehydrated rainbow carrot chips and also some crispy crunchy okra chips. I love how Trader Joe's always has some healthy like veggie chips. I want to try them all honestly. And we got some Jojo Slims. These are basically like Oreos but the thin version. We're giving it to someone who loves Oreos. Slim Jim thing and then this like dark chocolate baton espresso thing. Random stuff. Also got this award-winning wine called Josh. We had a little bit. It's, this stuff is actually really good. I realized we forgot to get ice cream, which is kind of an essential. We forgot to get ice cream. Oh well. And lastly, we got some flowers. It's my first time getting some tulips and I'm so in love. It definitely brings some spring life into our home. And so, yeah, I love Trader Joe's flowers. We only had a bunch of baby's breath at home and baby's breath tends to stink. I'm really grateful for these flowers. These tulips are so pretty. Ah. So that's basically everything that we got from like an American grocery store. I think if I went to a Korean grocery store, I'd buy much more different things that are more geared towards Korean foods. I think after all this, I'm gonna start craving Korean food again. So probably I might have a huge like Korean food grocery haul. So let me know if you're interested in something like that. Let me know what your grocery haul essentials are or if there's like a product that you recommend I try. Specifically from Trader Joe's, I've just been so into Trader Joe's hauls. There's a specific girl whose channel is fully dedicated to Trader Joe's hauls. She actually works at Trader Joe's. So I'll link her down below because I was just like binge watching her videos and she talks about her favorite Trader Joe's foods. <sighs> Thank you for watching this video. Stay at home as much as possible. Be safe and be wise. I love y'all and I'll see you guys soon in my next video. Bye-bye.